Before I start off today's episode, I would just like to say I completely forgot to check out this room right here. Uh, Burnt Paradise right below this room right here. I just completely bypassed it without me realizing it. Uh, yeah, there's an HP up right here. Just thought I'd let you know. Um, yeah, I, com I just completely bypassed it while I'm I wave through the leftmost part of the map. But I just got it there, so in case any of you guys were wondering if I just completely forgot it, yes, I did. There you go. But without further ado, let me just get to the actual start of the episode right here. So, without further ado, one, two, three. Hey everybody, this is Infinite Trials here saying welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. Oh, I am freaking dreading this part, guys, because in the last episode, I pretty much explored pretty much everything except up to this point um, of the Burnt Paradise. And in today's episode, we're going to finish it off by taking on the boss of this rear area. So without further ado, here we go. I'm not looking forward to this. I hate this fight. You see, it's a giant snake. Yes, so it is, everybody. That's right, it's Medusa for best time. <laughs> oh, I hate this fight. I absolutely despise this fight, guys. So, pretty much the thing with Medusa here is that she is just a giant slut. Um, she's very powerful. You can't really hit her by conventional means. Uh, oh, wow, crap. Um... You can't really hit her by conventional means, and by conventional means I mean you spam a thousand blades, because, well, if you haven't figured it out already, she is pro she is actually the only boss, aside from death, that has the ability to fly within the game. Not to mention, she has a bunch of incredibly annoying tags, she has the ability to petrify you with numerous of her moves, she can summon a sea of Medusa heads, which are synonymous with being some of the most frustrating enemies in gaming history, but, uh, yeah, so, oh, god... Yeah, it's just, this fight is just all sorts of biscuits and gravy! Yeah, now that lunge attack can be incredibly powerful and can nail you and do a ton of damage if you're not careful. Thankfully, because I did like five test runs of this, but I'm still hoping I, I'll, I'm still hoping I can at least win this somehow. Um, it, I might be able to do this. Yeah, okay. Now this move right here is what I like to call the most annoying move out of any boss in this entire game. This move right here is... I beat her? That fast? Okay, I guess. Um, I'll take it. Wow, okay, uh, that went better than I expected. Then again, I did do five test runs of this, but, uh, yeah, as I was saying about that one move, they'll just, like, arch over and do a lot of damage. It's just not fun to deal with, is what I'm trying to say. But, uh, yeah, wow, that went by much easier. Okay, I mean, like, I died, like, five times in my first few test runs, but... Okay, whatever, I'm not gonna, not gonna criticize, not gonna criticize. Anyways, though, wait... Damn, Medusa Head, you suck! Right here, we can pick up a new weapon here, uh, the Jet Black Whip for Jonathan. Uh, very good piece of equipment, by the way. Um, very mandatory for a certain, uh, ability, for a certain fight we will be undertaking soon enough, uh, but with that we've officially completed all there really is within the Burnt Paradise, which means I'm forever done with this area! Yeah! So, uh, now that we've completed an area of the game, guess what that means, guys? You guessed it! Quest time! I'll meet you back over at the entrances, children, okay? Alright, so I'm back here at the entrance here, but Man, I am still surprised I was able to pull off that victory against Medusa, man. Like, seriously, that that is insane. Like, <laughs> I'm flabbergasted to say the least. Anyways, though, uh, there are new new quests from Wint. Okay, I thought there would be more quests from Wind, but I guess I was gravely mistaken. Well, I feel stupid. Okay then. Well, completely disregard what I just said. I guess I'll just. Jump ahead to the next area of the game, I suppose. Um, well, I feel stupid. All right, so I'm back here at uh, the main studio portrait room here, and uh, as you can tell, we only have one area left to do. So, what is that area, you may ask? I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's this one right here. I mean, come on. It's the only one I haven't done yet. 
But we get to go into uh, what is, in my opinion, my favorite area of the entire game. And let me just say this right now, I love the theme song that plays in this area. 13th Street. This is actually a little remix from uh, the, the uh, Munitions Factory from um, the original uh, Castlevania Bloodlines, which I think is pretty cool that they did that. That's a nice little touch, so... Yeah, so let's just go and derp away along here. Da -da -doo, da -da -doo, da -da -doo. Yeah, we gotta have to go through kind of a long phase right here, but... Yeah, so let's just go... Holy crap, what the hell, a train! A train! Okay, 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 buddy, no, no! Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, there's a train here. Um, in order to stop said train, you must have Charlotte be able to block you and have Jonathan do the same. Blocking this train is kind of a pain in the butt, but and frankly, it's probably the easiest part of the entire... Can you help me out here, Sh This is gonna take me a couple tries, isn't it? Okay. Now, if I can actually do this correctly, that would be nice. Anyways, let's see if I can actually do it this time. Okay. Wait for it. And... Chew! Help me shut... Okay. Take four. I can do this. I can do this. I'm being stupid. I'm sorry, guys, for all of you, who, who, you guys who think I'm a pro at this game or looking for a pro player. I am not good at this game. Okay. Maybe I can do it this time. Come on. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. Okay. For a minute there, I thought that was going to push me away again. Yeah. For some reason, the train just disappears. Yeah, weird, I know. Um, actually, you know what? Shoot, I just realized I forgot to uh, remove Meteor for a Thousand Blades. Yeah, I might want to change that. Okay, and also, I... Yeah, this, this is fine. Okay. Um, so, yeah, now then, moving right along through here. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. That was complete no mistake right there. Um, whoa, okay, 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 hold on. Ouch! There we go. Ah Get wrecked! So yeah, once you get past that point, you'll find that there's some enemies around here. Buster armors to be precise. Watch out for them again, because they are very dangerous, and they set a homing missile at me. No thank you. And let's see here. There's a certain spot. I think it's right here, maybe? See, there's a there's a certain breakable wall, I think, right around this area. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Right here, right here. So let's see, we can pick up a piece of headgear, kill off uh, a Mothman, we can pick up the Shogun Helmet, a very good piece of headgear for Jonathan, if I do say so myself. Uh, it boosts our defense by a lot, but it, unfortunately it does drop our intellect and strength, so... Forget what I just said, it's a good piece of equipment if you're looking for strength. Um, but other than that though, that's really it, and here we can get a Kugel Hulk. Uh, I think that's I think that's a cake, actually, that we can use for Wind's Quest. Uh, yes, it is, so now we have... Two cakes. Awesome. So we have two cakes right now. I'm gonna make sure not to use them. Hopefully I'll have enough by the time I uh, finish this area where I can pretty much beat. Wow, that does a lot of damage to those guys. Jeez. Um, hopefully I'll have enough cakes by the time I finish this area because, as you guys can tell, this is pretty much the palette swap of the first area of the game, the City of Hayes. Um, so, therefore, if you remember back in the City of Hayes, there were a decent amount of cakes lying about there, so there should be a decent amount of cakes lying around here as well. Anyways, though, uh, let's see here. Just kill this lady right here. Aluminoras. Pretty easy to take down, especially now that we have that Lacard Spear. Oh my god. Oh, that, that weapon is just. It's so, so good. Ow. Whatever. <laughs> I took damage. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, we got a ghoul right here. Uh, we can get the combat fatigue. Is that a good piece of. No, I don't think it's a good piece of equipment, is it? Uh, no. Yeah, I thought he, I thought he already owned it, so yeah, that's what, that's what I thought. Anyway, going through here, um, is there anything of importance? Uh, whoa, yikes, yikes. Actually, in here, um, well, first of all, we can pick up the Assassin's Cape for Jonathan, which is what I'm going to equip on him right now, because it is so good. Wow, look at that, look at those boosts. But right here, actually, is where we can actually complete uh, one of Wind's many quests. Um, if you remember that one quest I took on, the uh, Ghoul King quest, uh, this is where we got to fulfill it. So, let's just kill as many ghouls as we can as possible. For those of you who remember the... Uh, Ghost Spirit quest from uh, that area we did back in Sandy Grave. Well, it's pretty much the exact same as this. Just kill as many ghouls as you can find, and eventually the main guy will pop up right here while that guy's fast. Jesus Louise, Jesus Louise, Jesus Christ. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Why are you yelling at. Oh, crap. He disappeared. 
Well, shucks. Um, crap. <laughs> or maybe, maybe I did I get him? I don't think I got him. Crap. Ready to respawn? Maybe. Ah, crud. Okay, well, give me a second here. Uh, I'll just go off screen and kill him then. And then, yeah. So, give me a sec. Okay, there we go. Now I killed him. I think. Did I kill him? I think I did. I hope I did. Uh, let's see here. Let's, let me just check in the, uh, feisty area, I guess. Um, I'm pretty sure I got him. I hope I did. Actually, wait, why don't I just take the... Easier way of checking, why don't I just look at the quest guy? That would be about a thousand times smarter. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. So there we go, I just completed the quest right there. And bada bing, bada boom, we are all set and raring to go. Anyways, moving along back up here. Uh, red axe armor, of course we can't kill it, because it's an axe Red ar red enemy. And as we all know, anything that has the full word red in front of it means we can't kill it. So, yeah. <laughs> wow, those guys re respond quickly. Um, let's see here. Okay. Ow, Bob Saget. Okay, whatever. Right here we can pick up a Gastel Maron. Um, I, er, I, I said that more so Spanish than... I think it's supposed to be... Uh, French or something. Wow, 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 that's a lot of... Those are a lot of bones being thrown about in this area. Um, let's see here. Okay, Dead Warrior. Again, I can just easily take down that fella right there with a couple shurikens. Oh, shuriken is so good in this game. Um, but let's see here. Can we move this with anything? Is that... Oh, ow, ow. Son of a... There we go. Okay, okay, there's... I don't think there's any point in having... Yeah, there's really no point in... Actually, wait, wait, no, there was, there was, there was, there was, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, I'm being stupid, I'm being stupid. Uh, it was right about here, I believe. Um, I can probably get my Bible out. Um, here we go. I'm, I'm being stupid, sorry, guys. Right here, switch up, switch up! Okay, I think... Right about here is a hidden passageway, which is what I will be exploring next time on Let's Play Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. This is it for the trials here saying peace out, yo. Have a good one, and rate, comment, subscribe.